most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeron. Good morning, everybody. Great to be with you here on a Tuesday. A pretty quiet morning again. We've got some clouds around, though, and temperatures are chilly. Uh, but it is winter time, right? As we approach the uh, holiday season coming up, temperatures now are in the low 30s. Depends on where you're at. Penn State, Mount Alto at 31, dipping below freezing. One of the coldest spots on our Weathernet sites this morning. We've got Lidditz at Warwick Middle School, 33 degrees. And then low 40s for Hummelstown and Elliottsburg. Perry County coming in at 41, one of the warmer spots actually on this Tuesday morning. We hit 50 yesterday. I said we probably could, even with the clouds. Uh, I think we went 48, so we did get to 50. 73 the record today back in 2001. No rain and yes, we have a big deficit for the year, but it's been wet. It's been damp uh, during the second half of November and early December here, so we're doing OK uh, with rain. We're not as concerned uh, right now with that satellite and radar picture showing you some clouds here. We may actually get a couple of showers this evening. Maybe some snow showers overnight from a weak Alberta clipper coming through. We'll show you that here coming up, but uh, what you see is kind of what you get. And we mentioned this yesterday. Well, there could be some peaks of sunshine. Clouds are going to be the dominant force here over the next couple of days. 35 in Chambersburg this morning. We go to 40 in Harrisburg, but uh, in York, 29 degrees, one of the colder spots. 42 in Lebanon, 34 in Lancaster. So again, a big range of temperatures locally. We tend to see that we get a lot of microclimates around here. Why is that? Well, we've got a, a unique landscape, right? We've got cities, we've got rural spots, we've got rivers, we've got mountains, we've got valleys, and so that all plays into the temperature profile of our region. No matter what, though, most of us are colder than yesterday, and uh, that would be by about 5 to 10 degrees, so another significant drop in our temperatures this morning. But as we take a live look at Carlisle behind me, the hourly forecast does show we get into the 40s today, but barely. I think low 40s. Today, tomorrow and Thursday, so a chilly middle part of the week here, and a lot of that has to do with the clouds. Notice all of the clouds extending from New York down into PA back through Ohio, and here's this clipper system moving through Chicago right now. It's got some rain with it. It's got some snow with it, and we can see a little bit of both here tonight. It's not going to accumulate, but a cloudy and chilly day really the next three days look kind of cloudy and chilly tonight. Rain and snow showers from this clipper could start as early as this evening and continue overnight and then it turns quite breezy here behind that system for tomorrow and again on Thursday. So any sunshine we get early clouds will fill back in. We could see a flurry or two this afternoon, but tonight just a brief rain or snow shower. You won't even notice it's here most likely. And then tomorrow again more clouds than sunshine Thursday. We'll get back into some more clouds and there is a, a weak warm front that's going to be drifting to our north. Precision cast trying to squeeze out a few snow showers on Thursday. It's really the only model that I've seen so far this morning that does it. So I'm going to leave Thursday dry for now. We'll monitor if anything. This would just be a few snow showers. Uh, very little if any accumulation with it, but keep that in mind for Thursday and it will be breezy and cloudy. So today the winds are not a factor, but tonight after that clipper pushes through, we get a northerly breeze in here about 10 to 15 miles an hour tomorrow. And then again on Thursday, a little bit of a breeze shaping up. Even though Thursday will be chilly, we get more of a west wind on Thursday at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. So temperatures again, pretty consistent over the next three days. Low 40s here today. Tonight we dip back down to around the freezing mark, I think, and it may take most of the night. And then as we look ahead into Thursday again, uh, Wednesday, excuse me, low 40s. But Thursday the same way. So the next three days are going to be a bit on the cooler side. And then as we head into the weekend, uh, by Friday we warm up into the 50s, near 60 on Saturday as clouds increase. And then Sunday continues to trend wet, probably about a half inch to an inch of rain. And then behind the rain, things turn chilly and windy again early next week. So here's the five day temperature forecast staying below normal, which is 46 right now today, tomorrow and Thursday. And then we hop back up above normal. 54 on Friday and 58 on Saturday. So today 43, mostly cloudy, not breezy today. That's not going to be a factor tonight. A few passing rain and snow showers from this clipper coming through. And here are the next seven days of your life. Breezy Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the low 40s and plenty of clouds. A little more in the way of sunshine on Friday, partly cloudy and milder 54 degrees. Again, the weekend looking pretty mild, but it does turn wet for Sunday and then windy and colder here to start next week. So uh, not a bad forecast again mm -hmm. Saturday. I said yesterday if you're getting a real Christmas tree, maybe a good day to do it. Okay. Thank you, Brett. Yep. We'll be right back.